I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video about the review of the USS Johnston and a very, very um, anticipated destroyer in World of Warships. It finally came out. At first, I had my hesitations about it because of the price tag on this thing. This is a premium destroyer. It's available in the uh, armor right now under the, uh, I believe, the Independence Day um, uh, event that's going on right now. And you can either you know roll the dice and try to buy crates for it to acquire it or just buy it outright which i do recommend now it does if you do decide to do it it, it is expensive it's about for me it was about 160 bucks so because you had to buy the doubloons to get it to buy the crate so again that's just my thought on it some people have bought it for less i guess you could if you saved up doubloons or uh, do other sorts of ways let me know how you do it um it's pretty interesting it's a heavy price tag though i mean for a premium tier 9 destroyer uh it is up to you if this is more of your collector kind of style um destroyer uh, but uh, it, it is what it is. Uh, you guys decide what you want to do with it. At first, I was hesitant on trying it. And then I saw more vi vid videos and reviews, and I really did enjoy it. And, it, man, I have to sum it up and to say this thing is a run up to your your face and punch uh, the guy really, really quick and run away. I mean, that's essentially, and it kind of follows, uh, I would say, the history of what the USS Johnson is. So um, uh, while we're sailing around here, USS Johnson, again, great. Uh, first of all, notice in the background, we're going to learn how to become a good destroyer player. Uh, I would believe the Johnson is a very, very powerful uh, gunboat DD that uh, employs the USS Fletcher design. And uh, you can see how I use it. Uh, really just a great cap contester, but DD bully. I'm going to notice I'm going to destroy three destroyers uh, in this game. And uh, it is very, very powerful. And it can do uh, exactly everything I needed to do. Um, if it had a heal or maybe a radar, it'd be even more and more powerful. So let's take a look while we're looking at the, There's an example of the burst fire right there. You can see um, shooting at our counterpart, the Halford, which is also in the armory uh, for a premium uh, doubloon ship. I didn't like the Halford. It's more of a focus on the airplane style of gameplay. But uh, you can see right there, we're just uh, using burst fire. Uh, that's the gimmick of the thing. The burst fire, you're using it the whole time, and that's it. And it's got sap shells. That's pretty much the gimmick of it. Everything else is uh, Fletcher design, except the torpedoes are, uh, they reload a little bit longer, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there. So I may dibby dally and try out the destroyer build. I mean, sorry, the torpedo build. Now it's got burst fire. I'm not really too worried about the reload on the guns because it's got burst fire. So a little bit of history while we're going to rush this cap. We're going to rush these two DDs, the Halford and Shimikaze, but while we're getting there, USS Johnson was a Fletcher class destroyer built for the United States Navy during World War II. She was named after Lieutenant John V. Johnson, a U.S. Navy officer during the American Civil War. Johnson was laid down in 1942 and was launched on 25 March 1943. Entered service on 27 October 1943 under the command of Lieutenant Commander Ernest E. Evans, who earned the uh, the Medal of Honor in the Battle of Samar, which is a very, very famous battle. Take a look at it, read about it. Um, <clears throat> essentially... The, it was a uh, part of an escort of six uh, carriers and the uh, two Fletcher class destroyers and floor, four destroyer escorts were engaged by a large Imperial Japanese flotilla off uh, what became known as the Battle of Samar. Johnson and other escort ships were char charging the Japanese ships to protect U.S. carriers nearby and transport craft. Very famous for taking basically Yamato style shells through the, the main hull and uh, even through the deck. And a lot of uh, sailors were you know killed, injured in that day. Um, he severed the fingers of uh, Commander Evans, and uh, you know, basically, they had to eventually abandon ship. Not, not after a, not after firing hundreds of shells, launching torpedo runs on uh, you know Japanese uh, uh, destroyers and cruisers and you know, the fleet, and really doing a lot, a lot of damage before succumbing to her wounds and damages. But uh, yeah, very, very um, interesting battle to read about, and we're gonna take a look at this. This is kind of the similar battle of weaving in and out of smoke, and kind of what the Battle of Samar, USS Johnson, doing. You can notice I'm using sap shells right there, and boom, splash one goes the first destroyer and here we go on the second destroyer halford 
Again, running in and out of smoke, engaging at close range, and using sap shells right there. You can see the power of how it can melt everything, even taking just, you know, just like the battle, guns destroyed, a lot of modules destroyed, and really just keep on finding, keep on going. And here we go, last turret at the back air, fires and boom, splash two. Who told me to get who told me to get back? No, Johnson's gonna go full speed ahead. Damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead, as we always say. And uh, I have to say, this thing is powerful up close and personal. Uh, that reload booster really is a uh, strong gimmick. And the, with the sap shells, it really, really exemplifies the power and the utility of the USS Johnston. And, uh, yeah, I can't say enough. You know, as a, a, uh, an officer in the military, I have to say, uh, reading about the battle, I really do applaud. And uh, my heart goes out to uh, Commander Evans earning the, the Medal of Honor as well as crew, his crew for sacrificing everything they could to keep and stay in the engagement, fighting to the very end, and never... Uh, giving up uh, even when uh, the other supporting vessels were calling for certain attacks uh, Johnson was just using everything in her power to you know weave in and out of smoke just like you saw in that engagement just we did right there using everything even with damaged modules guns the crew kept on fighting up until the very bitter end and I have to say very very strong and powerful there so how, how do I think of the USS Johnson World of Warships right now so the meta of today and uh, is pretty much you know, everybody's sitting in the back, as you can see right here, and I really hate that. I hate the fact that crews and battleships are sitting in the back, and uh, really, it's just up to the Destroyer player. That's why I like the Destroyer uh, gameplay mo so much more, because you're up close and personal, you're more effective, you're more, I would say, battle impactful. Uh, and you can see right there, I'm just shooting sap shells right into the superstructure Yamato over there, which ironically had uh, fired on the USS Johnson uh, shell, so read about that. But yeah, what it does is essentially the Fletcher kind of play style where you're in smoke, you're launching torpedoes, which are really long reloading in the Johnson. The primary focus is the guns, as you can see right there. And you're just kind of weaving in and out of smoke, getting those quick engagements. And then you're really going out there capping things and torping from range. Torping is really good in the, the Fletcher class destroyers. I mean, they reach out to 12 to 13 and 13 and a half. You can see in this Johnson build right here. So... Yeah, how do I like it? Um, I do enjoy it. I think it's a unique gameplay style. It, it takes away from the whole gearing Fletcher kind of place where you're running and, and torping and capping, hiding in smoke and farming. The Johnson really takes the fight to them. I mean, you run up to the closest guy, punch him in the face, and then you eat, you know, depart or egress the area. And that's essentially what you do. It's kind of that hit and run kind of tactic I like to play. And you can see right here, just like unsuspecting concealment's great. Again, it's like down to that 5.8-ish, I believe. Uh, and that is, is exactly what you know this thing is good at is really that you spot people first get that first shot off the, especially it's a burst fire shot which really take a lot of health right off the bat immediately and that's it's very devastating because when I played against the Johnson I noticed my health pool like at first it was full I mean man it just depletes your health right off the bat and already it's running away you can see in this egress maneuver here i'm just doing the shimmy shimmy shake shake left and right left and right and it's just annoying to fire at and people just give up after that shooting at a fletcher if you guys have noticed shooting at fletchers running away very very difficult very hard to do and again uh yeah that's the gameplay style and i, I really do enjoy it do i recommend this ship if it was at a cheaper price for everybody absolutely but for if your wallet, your wallet is your concern. I, I really don't think it's worth it to spend over a hundred and sixty something dollars plus if you had to, or maybe even more. Uh, especially in the gambling uh, crates that people are doing today, I, I wouldn't recommend spending your money on it. I did it just to say, hey, here, here, let me show you, and so you don't have to if you don't want to. And look at it, here's the HE right here. Even the HE is powerful, you know, with the burst fire and boom, splash three, oh, three destroyers down. And that is the power of the Johnson right there. Again, it's, it's just like spot you first, run up to you, punch you in the face, and then just disappear into the smoke, just like history has uh, shown. And like I said, it is very, very powerful. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the Johnson? Is it worth the price? Is it worth the gunpowder? Is it worth what it is supposed to do? Is it a valuable utility in today's World of Warships meta? I think it is, especially in ranked for Tier 9. It is very, very powerful. You basically pay to win kind of thing. Um, but like I said, it is very, very strong. Um, for but If I didn't look at the price tag, I'd definitely say it's a recommended ship for the Fletcher class style of play. For the price tag, nope, it's pretty expensive for me and my taste. Um, but look, number one in the team right there, this thing is a futility ship. It does what it needs to do for the power. So Fletcher is more of that uh, hybrid I'll go all around. Johnson is primarily focused on the guns, punch you in the face, run away. So, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, definitely wor worth it in that regard. But, man, when it comes to uh, price set, uh-uh, ain't worth it. So uh, you guys take it for, for what it's worth. You guys let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think it's worth it in today's World of Warships, how powerful it is? Build will be at the end of the video. I'll try a couple more videos on the Johnson and maybe do a torpedo build and see if, uh, you know, the reload just focused on that helps out by letting me focus on torpedoes and make it more of a uh, Fletcher kind of design so as always hope you guys are doing well if you see me out there let me know and we'll see you guys next time stay safe cheers